Welcome back to Little Pig Barbecue, everybody. I appreciate you stopping by, as always. If this is your first time, please hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. Love to hear from you. So today we're gonna to be doing a butterfly pork chop out on the Weber kettle today. I'm gonna to be firing it up, getting it really hot. Got a set of grill grates on, so we're gonna be getting some awesome grill marks on this thing. So let's get you in here, seasoned up, and we'll head out to the grill. All right, here's the pork chop. Now this chop came from a pork loin that I cut very thick and then butterflied it. So the thickness of this chop is about a quarter of an inch thick. So I didn't do any trimming on this. I did that whenever I cut the, the pork loin up. All I did was pat it dry so we're good to go on the seasoning. So we're going to be seasoning this uh, with three different rubs that I'm going to uh, really like using. Uh, on pork chops. So here is Killer Hogs AP rub. This is going to be a good salt, pepper, garlic layer. Not going to go very heavy on this. So this is going to serve as kind of a pre-layer. Pre Make sure you get every side very good. Put it on as even as possible. There we go. That should be good there. Next we're going to be using Killer Hogs hot barbecue rub. A little spicy but I'm mainly using this for a little bit of color and I'm not putting this on heavy either. I really don't want this pork chop to be really hot, but I do want to have a little bit of kick to it. So going on a light coat here, just for some color. Again, get all sides very good, very even. And you notice I didn't put a binder on this. Uh, this pork chop has plenty of moisture, so you really don't need a binder on this at all. And then last but not least, we're going on with something that you can find at almost every supermarket. Uh, some Montreal steak seasoning. Uh, this is going to give you some texture. This is what's going to give it that steakhouse chop taste. You get that patted in really good. Again, all sides. And that's going to be really good. You're going to have a nice texture to it. So there we go. That's what it looks like. So we got this baby seasoned up. We're going to take it out to the kettle, get it put it on and get some good sear marks on it and we'll be ready to eat. So stick around, we're gonna get out there and throw it on. here at the kettle got it screaming hot grates are really hot I just uh, checked the temperature of the grates and they're they're hitting at about 650 degrees so let's get this thing opened up and the first thing I'm gonna do is lightly spray the grate with some canola oil and that's just gonna keep this pork chop from sticking so let's go ahead and get this thing thrown on this is what it looks like after hanging out on the counter for about 30 minutes and we'll put it on at an angle and kind of pat it in a little bit. Let's get this lid closed for about two minutes and 15 seconds and then we'll get a get a good turn on it. Okay it's been two minutes and 15 seconds so we're gonna get a good turn on this and all I'm doing is turning this 45 degrees and I'm going to a different spot. I'm gonna take me a grill brush and just kind of clean the grate up a little bit so whenever we go back to that spot it won't stick to any of the rub that's already sticking to the grate. Just kind of pat that in a little bit so you're getting good contact with the grate. We're going to close it up for another two minutes and 15 seconds. Been another two minutes and 15 seconds. Let's give this thing a flip. We'll put it back on a new side. See, we got some good grill marks there. We'll clean this uh, grate off a little bit. We'll get it closed back up. Start it for another two minutes and 15 seconds. Okay, it's been two minutes and 15 seconds again, so we're gonna give this thing its last twist. Now on this last twist, 
I'm going to be adding a little bit of butter. I got unsalted butter because the, the pork chop has plenty of salt on it. So melt a little bit of butter in the, in the microwave or on the stove and just kind of dab it on a little bit. You don't really want to rub it because you'll rub the, the barbecue rub off that we have on it. So you're just going to give it a light coat, just enough to make it shine, just like that. And that's all we're doing to it so I'll close the lid back up and give it another two minutes and 15 seconds and we'll start checking the temperature all right let's check the temperature and see where we're at so it looks like we're about 105 106 so we still got a ways to go on this I'm wanting to take it to about 145 so got all of the color and the grill mark on it that I want so I'm actually going to take this rack that came with my performer we're going to put this in the back here and we're going to take the pork chop off just to get it away from the heat a little bit we're going to put it up on this rack just like that while we got it opened up we're going to put a little bit of butter on it again just keep adding to that flavor Again, don't brush the butter on, just kind of let it drip on it a little bit. It's got a good shine to it, so that's perfect. Close it back up, and I'm going to let it go about two more minutes, and we'll check the temperature and see where it's at after about two minutes. All right, that should be it. Let's see where we're at now. Okay. Looks like about 143, 144, 143, I'm calling this. It's going to carry over a couple degrees, so it's going to put it right at 145 where I want it. So let's get this thing moved over to the cutting board and take it inside to let it rest. Check that out. Got really nice grill marks. It's gonna be good. So I'll see you inside. Back in the house, everybody. Got this thing rested for about five minutes. I'm ready to cut into it and try it. You gotta get in here up close and check this baby out. There it is. The shine from that butter. You got the texture from that Montreal steak seasoning. Got some good color from that hot barbecue rub. This thing looks perfect and I can't wait to cut into it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So since this is a butterfly pork chop, I'm gonna cut it right down the center here. I'm gonna make two tiny little chops. Let's get right into it. I wanna cut, cut myself a piece and see how it tastes. And you can see it is cooked through and through. Man, this thing smells good. I can't wait to try it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut off a little piece on the corner here and give it a try. Get that piece right here on the edge. Man, this thing smells so good. You really taste the, the AP rub, just the right amount of heat from that hot barbecue rub. And I'm also getting some of the, the Montreal steak seasoning. So this is exactly what I wanted. The hot barbecue rub gives it a good little kick but it's not too bad. So if you're worried about having something too spicy or too hot, the hot barbecue rub, it's pretty mild. It's not, it's not that bad. Mm. This is so good. I gotta get into this and eat. I'm starving. If you like the video, again, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. This is a really easy recipe to try. You don't have to have a kettle. You don't have to have the grill grates. You don't even have to use the rubs that I use. Just put some good rub, good seasoning on it. Get it out on some hot heat. Uh, total cook time was around, around 10 minutes, uh, maybe 10 minutes, 30 seconds, something like that. But make sure you cook to temperature. Don't get caught up in the, in the you know, feeling it and, or anything like that. You wanna make sure this is cooked. Uh, my personal preference for a pork chop is about 145. I think that's perfect. So give this a try. Super easy. I think everybody will like it. I appreciate everybody stopping by and I can't wait to make the next video for you all. So I'll see you all next time.